Welcome back. How's your cat? Hungry. Adam. Got something to drink too. I'm ready. Oh yeah, let me lock in. Quick. Yeah, I always make a coffee and then I don't end up drinking it and then it's just cold by the time we're done. Oh, what is this life? I have to go find my phone now because, like... Because? I'm on the new computer, and so I haven't logged into Twitch yet. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, your microphone is much worse. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, you... Did you install your, uh... Your driver? Oh fuck, she says she's gonna get food, never mind. <laughs> Forgot about that. I like your icon. Dividus. Oh yeah! The Dividus. <laughs> Thank you, that's a wave druid. It's new. It's very cute. I she's heard, I heard she's been doing lots of commissions. Oh yeah, she's been... She's got tossed commissions, like she has a huge waiting list and she's a bit overwhelmed with it. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, she has... Yeah, that's great. She she enjoys it a lot, but it's still a lot of things. She's not used to it because she usually doesn't get a lot of commissions at once. But now how, it's like a wave. How long does it normally take her? Oh, I can tell you. I think it depends on how well the... Uh, I think she's like doing... She's uh, drawing up drafts for the people after they pay her. So, uh, I think it just... Yeah, there's no consistency there because she's uh, not used to like waiting lists and stuff like that and consistent work. She just does it whenever she feels like it, really. Yeah, it's interesting though. Like, um, I guess if she does the draft, uh, I, I guess people would want poses and stuff, right? Like they tell her uh, what it wants to look like. It, the most most of the commissions are icons, like either emotes or icons, and. Um, uh. Currently, she's doing things. Uh, I think she. I don't know if uh, how it goes. Like, like I haven't looked at uh, how she got with that. Uh, but I know she. He wanted. He was about to pay or something. So he's an excellent. Apparently, there's a lot more. <laughs> That's what she told me at least. But yeah, currently she's reading all of her uh, past icons. Uh, the emotes we have, you know, typical ones I use on a daily basis. <laughs> She's redoing a lot of those. Okay, so... I'm um, gonna lock in. Yeah, and we'll start whenever Rhapsody gets back. We're gonna start yeah, on I Titan. Guess. Did you make an all- On Titan. Titan. Yeah, I, I made it. I'm ready. I'm standing outside the ferry skip. So I am ready. I'll grab an address in case people want to come. Oh yeah, if you guys want to come, you can always join us on both uh, when we are like doing housing tours or walkthroughs. Just feel free to. There's no need to hesitate or be afraid of us. Okay. All right, wraps is going to be a little bit late, so we'll just start. Let me grab the first address. This one is um, what's the name of the person we were visiting first? Because I didn't. Ashen selected the, uh, the places she wants to go to, but uh, for the sake of being a surprise, I basically didn't look it up before. It's uh, Omayo Om Chan. They're the uh -huh. FF14 Titan. They're the ones who. The, it's the person who made the door in that modern. Oh, stuff. the door, yeah, at the windows, right? Yeah, yeah I remember. I know who. I know them. I know. I, oh, was it this person who also made this really, really nice couch with a back? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, what's the address? I posted it in chat. Perfect, so let's go. Port 5. Someone says they can't sub the G. What does that mean, sub? Is that a Twitch thing? Oh? They, says they, they say they can't sub. I can't sub. For me it works. Let me just see. Oh yeah, we only have follows. We don't have subs yet. <laughs> oh. Aren't we affiliated? I thought we hit it. Do I have to like press a button? <laughs> I don't think I, I don't see any option to sub to or either in this case. Legal dot oh. Thought I did when I did like the other legal stuff. 
I don't, I don't know. I'll figure it out. You know. <laughs> it won't be. It won't be tonight, uh, Sayu. So you'll have to wait for the sub. But thank you. We appreciate it already. Let me be the first one. Yep. Thank you for the support, even if it's just with love. <laughs> That's all we want, really. I need to fix my reshade because it is going crazy with my heat. Very annoying. Let's see. Okay, I am um, what? Plot 55, you said, right? Let's see. I think I'm gonna use my wife's character. Uh, preset oh, for visiting other people's places. Oh, now my reshade doesn't want to work. Hold on. So, are you outside the house? Yep. Uh, ah. And yeah, Rhapsody, she's getting a headset. There you are. Yeet Master. The Yeet Master. Zebus Yeet Master. Did you just click uh, random on the, ro on the name? Or did you choose a Duga on purpose? I just random. Wow. Udugas are all males. <laughs> <laughs> all, all males who. Oh, uh, really? Sorry. This is the tribe that kidnaps other males for uh, growth. <laughs> they don't have the males. <laughs> My immersion, what the fuck, Ash? <laughs> I like the gate. Oh, wait, it's. Oh, you don't have to glitch through it. I never noticed that. Alright, there we go. I fixed it now. Okay, uh, let me get the stream or the picture up. Let me close all my other thousand taps so I can see what's happening on your screen, too. Yeah, let's get started, I guess. What do we have here? I really- so first off, I really, really like the entrance, because uh, usually people do those uh, gates with the other uh, flower bed, the one that has an actual collision. Yep. But, uh, uh, but this one is very transparent, and it's, it looks like a gate that is closed, but you can just walk through it. I didn't even know it had no collision at all. The more you know. Yeah, this is nice. Do you want to wait for daytime? It's about a couple of minutes. Is the house based on daytime? So, like, is there, are there a lot of windows? Not a lot of windows, but there are. This is the one with the paintings in the windows, so it might be a nice effect. Uh, oh, um, oh, what time is it right now in New Yeah. Uh, it's 5 a.m. Okay, yeah, I guess we can wait. Let's talk about the garden. It's super minimalistic. Like, it's a small, you know, we don't have many items, but it's super. Like, I like the beam. I like the pink beam here. It's a Paisa house, too. I really like the glow of the, um, what are they called? Uh, I'm not good with gardening item names, so you guys gotta help me out here. The what? Where? Uh, those glowy, those glowy That's flower. Like a, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't use a lot of garden. <laughs> <laughs> Housing mentors, but we have no fucking clue how uh, garden items are named. I'm admittedly not great with yards. I always make the same looking yard. <laughs> yeah. Usually, uh, w I had BG over the other day, and uh, when I told him that I have no idea how to do gardens, he said that he doesn't believe me. <laughs> um, <laughs> my, my FC mate got me that HOH tower, and he wants me to put furniture up on the balcony now on my house. I'll try it, I guess. I mean, uh, the tower? Yes. I don't know. Well, yeah, he, it will look he, a bit he, iffy. He wants me to glitch like a beach chair or something up there. Oh, the one picture we saw. Yeah, there was a really nice post where um, there was this large mist house. Was it mist? I think it was mist, right? Yeah. Uh, and it had those Usually we don't see items on the balcony because we usually can't do that. And he has like the um, the beach chairs up there with a table, and it looked so good. And I did, I still don't get how it really worked out. 
to be fair. Um, Apparently, it was, it was done with this, the, the tree gl glitch, but I've never seen one so intricate before. Yeah, I was about to say, but that's like super nicely placed. Like, that's, it doesn't look like it's been placed just for having it there, but there's been thought put into it where to actually place it. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, with that furniture glitch, you need, don't you need like a chimney and it's always located on the side? How did they get it up on the balcony? So, yeah, that's that's what, what I was thinking. I didn't look into it because I, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of gardens as I told you, uh, but I really want to know, I know the chimney one, I know the usual house thing, but I'm not sure if anyone of you guys know it, I really want to know that. Definitely share it because uh, I saw some people place things on the house on the uh Actually, can you do that with the just usual storage placement when you just stand on the railings? I know what don't I think know. about it? But it's morning now. But you know, I did see a Japanese video floating around of a yard yeah. glitch. Maybe I'll look at it. Oh, okay, we should definitely look into that. Okay, let's oh well, I don't think Ripsy's gonna come into the call in time soon, so but she's moving, so Okay, so this is, let me link the Twitter, but this was a house that's been very popular. Oh, yeah, I instantly, I immediately remembered which one that was. Oh, yeah, they, they, they made a lot of those, oh, what the fuck. Uh, they posted a lot of screenshots of their uh, little pieces here and there. Welcome back, Ripsy. Thanks, is this any better? No. Yeah, this is... <laughs> what? <laughs> it sounds really tinny. Oh, uh, I think it's still good. You can still hear it pretty well, in my opinion. Talk again, so, yeah, this... I'm scared to now. Uh, <laughs> it'll it'll it's do. It's only fine. <laughs> uh, so this build is... um, When it was work in progress, you saw like little bits of pieces here and there, like the couch we are sitting on right now. This was featured a lot, they really like to show this one off because, in my opinion, it's one of the best looking custom couches in the game so far. Yeah, and it's it, we, we can break it down right here. What's it made of? Uh, so I see the harps, that which we all love and know, <laughs> especially from Rhapsody's last build. Uh, we see the putting couches, we see three glade chairs, and I think those are the glade um, carts, well, what are they called? Carts in it's like a French word. Like car yeah, exactly. Like, it's basically uh, 3, 4, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 items, I think, in total. I like it. But it's it. definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. Also, I, I see now, this, you see, like, the little holes in the wall they made with the, um, with the uh, white rectangular, rectangular walls? You guys won't believe how long we tried to figure out how they did this red uh, kind of red thing there placard. with the yeah with the writing on it we took like it it's been a long ride to figure out what that was but after all it was the um storm storage bench right yeah the yeah. uh the locker looking thing not the tall one the foot one yeah it's it's a foot it's a foot one yeah the storage course. bench like you can actually sit on it yeah whoa <laughs> actually almost okay so uh, there's not only that we have of course the Door of a I think is this the first one of the first first version she did of it? Yeah, and then she showed if you look at her Twitter, she's been uh, working on a lot of doors, and she did that swinging door with the windows, and you were like, that breaks my immersion. <laughs> at least we can exit. I don't know how it is for console though. I'm not playing console. They probably can because I. I think that the windows that are being used nowadays, for some reason, they're just so thick, you can't click through them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. That's fine. I see I see the light, though, coming through. Yeah, this one I, I can, really like the thing. This one I can auto-target, so it's probably the similar console. Uh, what else do we have? We have this window here. This is also really, really nice. They use the, um, they use the bunk bed for the uh, little... Yeah, Kurt, it's, it's cute. It's really, really cute. It's like the same uh, idea, uh, the same design they use for the door. Also, just for a window. the ceiling is not a typical ceiling. I believe they're Hingen sideboards. Yeah, Hingen sideboards, right? Yeah. 
I really like the slam that they did. This is the, um, what is it called? The, uh, wash, uh, clothes kind of It's a laundry basket, basket. yeah. yeah the it looks like a basket. boob light. <laughs> oh my god. The dreaded boob light. Dreaded one. But it's super cute that way. I love this one. This is what gave me the idea for my chandelier. This alone. Yeah, this is the one you use in VFCLs, right? Mm -hmm. When I first saw this, this is really the thing that really got me into thinking about the Shia Lian build again, because I really like the gold and white colors. And it's just like such a nice industry kind of looking light. But also it looks super Shalian for me. I really enjoy that. What I like about this build the most, I think, it's the fact that the uh, window design is consistent. Like you always, she always used uh, what is it called? The um, the mana bookshelf. But then here she has like a bigger version of it, and I like it so much with like little storage pieces here and there. Well, it's consistent also because she used paintings for every single window, and there's no opaque, just fake window. Except for yeah. actually right here. Oh, never mind. Well, we'll ignore that. <laughs> Well, it's believable though, like, because they're almost like side lights, so they could be like frosted almost. Yeah, and yeah. also it's tall, so you can't really get a good view anyways. I really like it. I like the low ceiling, it's, uh, like, I don't know if it's just because I usually go to places with my tall characters, with my Alice and Row or Aura Boy, but here on the normal characters, it's such a nice hate. You know what? Such a nice mm -hmm. side. What, what Miyoki, Miyoki said? Uh, they use the lights for hangers, and I really like that too, I was about to point that out, and recently they did it again, if you, oh. look, at the, if you look at their Twitter, they use the, what's it called? The, the Manor Candelabra, oh my gosh, it was so pretty, it looked like hanging shelves, yeah, and yeah. I love that look. You can see the same thing, that they're trying to go for the same effect here, but they refined it in a picture in their Twitter, but it's still, I like it a lot, although, um, I don't know if I like the white. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the light is a bit annoying, yeah. Uh, it, it's... I can see it, like, I tying in this other stuff. Yeah, but it, it just... I can understand, like, maybe for, like, a metal bracket. I don't yeah. know. I like this. I don't know if y'all talked about this already while I was figuring stuff out. I really like this wainscoting. It's super cute. Like, yeah, the chair super... rail and the, like, paneling yeah. for the wainscoting. Mm-hmm. That's so nice. And this right here, the planter, is a Hingen pillar. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a pillar, yeah. I, w I was trying to figure that out while we talked, but I kind of guess. guess nothing very, uh, nothing similar to Slim. So this and you is, see the... This is cool because it's a one floor small build, but they've created a second floor by, yeah. you know, using lofts, but they blocked yeah. off the actual basement. I really like the feeling of oh, this. Wait. Oh, You can see that those are Hingen sideboards here, because it sticks out yeah. a little. I thought oh, wait, what? I was duped uh... into thinking there was a second floor. No, it's just a uh, what's oh. it called? Irish staircase it goes nowhere. Oh, oh no! no. Give it to us. <laughs> I'm stuck. But I got out. Okay, so it's basically just for. It's a it's a, like, an illusion. Looking up. Like if, if, well, so, if like you were you to stand from, from here. here. Oh, sorry, Jesse. You can't, like, even though, uh, you could technically see it, I just didn't notice it at all. That's a very, very small build. I think they sunk all of their item count into this part here. They sunk it into it... the ceiling. <laughs> oh, yeah, basically. Oh, good point. I was gonna say, like, it doesn't feel like 100 I or 200 items. But now if you're looking at the ceiling with a sideboard? M oh, maybe. 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 Maybe with the sideboards. I feel like they probably have some item count left in here. Yeah, I think it's around 170 at best. Interesting. So maybe we can look forward to more from them in yeah. this particular house. I, I, I looked through their Twitter at their other builds, but I couldn't figure out any address to visit. Um, unless you guys are better at deciphering. <laughs> while, while we're here, Titans. I I loved whatever they did in their most recent one with the they had the Maxine's cure egg and stuff in there. It was super cute. Uh oh. I'm... Yeah, and it had the the rainbow staircase. I wanted to see that. Yeah. Out. I'm gonna leave a nice message. There's Lalafell legs. 
Oh my god, I saw him just now from the uh, corner of my eye. <laughs> Already signed their book. Oh, what did you write in? Oh, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. there at the bottom. But I'll give them some hearts. But yeah, this, uh, this designer is very creative, I, I feel. They're always making something very interesting. Mm -hmm. I think it's more of like, I haven't seen like large, larger builds or commissions of them. More than like concepts, I think. They make a lot of nice com furniture combinations, their which is also something. Th simple. They should work for uh, the breakdown with their concepts. Oh. Spoiler alert. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Okay, so what's the next house we're going to? Okay, so next one is... Hmm, I forget, hold on. It was over in Anima. Oh, Anima. Time to return. And hop on that server. I think no one is online in this uh, in the data center here, right? Mana? Like, it's super early or super late for them. Because I know that um, if it's morning for me or like noon, it's evening for them, so it should be like either early in the morning or somewhere around noon. Is it Anima, right? It's uh... a. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Is it our server? This person's my favorite. Oh really? Spoilers. Wait, what? I've I've looked at their houses for maybe a couple months now. I whenever I started using housing snap and I was like, oh, they are awesome. <laughs> so the LB one, okay. Wait, where did you teleport to? Oh, to the okay. <laughs> to the actual Ether, right? I went to Central shroud because it's a little closer yeah i actually go there now too i'm so used to making this run yeah same it, because everyone just builds in lavender bats it's so pretty can't deny it so this person does a lot of open windows really beautiful stuff oh <gasps> it's this one yeah I are you already there I, I am, yeah. Okay. I just made alts on different servers and parked myself. But I, um, I visited this house a long time ago. It was actually what inspired me to make the attic beams, because they did their own beams. Which one do you mean? The attic beams? The little cabin with the attic, and it has like the, uh, the open I window. I remember now, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see commission too, right, of yours? I remember that? I don't know if they do commissions, honestly. Hmm. Uh, they do a lot of like apartments and alts, and unfortunately most of their stuff is in Shiro, and I can't reach it. Now that's a shame when it's in Shiro. Maybe I should make Shirogana. Oh, it's so hard to do, but just make it accessible for alts too, because it's such a waste. For two. Yeah. Just imagine how many people would visit like Nora's place. I mean, Nora has like an alt just for people to add to teleport to their house. <laughs> yeah, it'd make things e a lot easier though, because I visit Nora's houses, but yeah, I don't go to the Shiro ones because I don't want to have to track somebody down. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. I don't know. Well, let's see, limiter stop list. Oh no, I teleported to the wrong one. I like their yard though. Oh no, I teleported to the southwest. Southwest. <laughs> I'm almost I'm there. Trouble, sir. I have oh, I have orientation problems in real life in tier two. <laughs> It gets uh, lost. Yeah, easily. I'm seeing uh, a theme. Uh, what? What? 
Lavender and tree houses. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, this garden looks so nice. So, so cute. From the outside, you can't tell really that it's a designer house because of the limitations. I can. I think it looks cute. It doesn't I mean, have it a T-Rex. Does yeah, about to say, <laughs> anybody that decorates their house or their yard, that's a designer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my husband's headset is so weird. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, oh, I see. Ooh. Hey, look, Div, it's your thing! Yeah. Oh, it's my furnace. Wait, how did it. Hang on. <laughs> they use lanterns instead of. That's, that's clever. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> actually, I remember I was the person who showed you this dude from Tumblr. Do you remember this when I was like, dude, this guy gets like five notes on tumblr yeah he has no followers on twitter whatsoever yeah it pissed me off look at look how yeah. amazing this is oh this my is... goodness look at the window above the door yeah this house yeah. is great he had it so much since like, back then because back then it was like super simple but so many items that are just so nice for cluttering were added that he just had to expand on his stuff this is so nice even things that you can't see like there's a little carpet here so, you guys know I love my clutter, but this is like, beyond bad, because uh, people don't build on a, uh, on a small scale, really, in NA. They like their big open spaces. Yeah. And this is just an entire cabin. You see the shape of a house and the roof here, and it really makes it feel... Oh my god, I just looked at the... Uh, sorry, I lost the words, <laughs> but look at, look at the uh, lantern above us. This is... Oh. This is so cute. You know, I like it. I walk into this space, and it's what I imagine like an NPC RPG house looks like. You know, yeah, lived in, exactly. lived in and cluttered. I want to open all the drawers. <laughs> Same. This is like <gasps> I want to loot this place. This door. There's more. I yeah, mean, I thought, not much okay. more, but it's cute. I, in, back then, I thought it's like just a decorative door, but they actually did something with it. Okay, we're gonna add something important here. So this window, this open window, is just so much love because it has depth to it. Yes, they, ma they make the best open windows. Yeah, I really enjoy it. If you look from this angle here, you see that there's, there are books in the corner that you don't see them. But it, blo it blocks off the space. Uh, if you come like here, see that there's, there's a few books there? Well, that's well, because it's, it's because right here. It's this. Oh. It's not, I knew not that. intentional. Yeah, that's... Uh, they have some books outside, but this has so much stuff, like, it's just... I love the combination of partitions, planters, and the picture in the background. Yeah, so basically they have... So it's not right up up front, so there's a little gap between the uh, latch, like the, um... What is it called? Be between the window, window itself. Cell. Yeah, that, that's bad. <laughs> and the uh, aquarium with the... Uh... Uh, planters in the back, and then there's also another level of detail with the painting, as you guys said. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's and the clever. painting is further back, so that it actually yeah. gives you a sense of distance, and the partitions are not right up against the, the glass, so you actually see depth here. It's so great. I'm yeah. actually not a fan of open windows using paintings, but uh, if people use the depth of the uh, actual build like that, that's a whole new level, which I can only admire. I think a lot of people get caught in this trap of, oh, I want to do that illusion, you know, where the, the sunbeams come through. But look look how beautiful this is. This could be something you just have uh, all hours of the day, and it looks great. And it lo definitely looks like glass, just even because of the planters. And also, they put a spotlight in here to mimic yeah, this sunlight. Is, this is not just a window in the back of a painting, but this is act an actual... Um, I did I did this one smoking launch and uh, when I saw this, this was the inspiration for it, basically. I saw how the light reflected off of plants onto the, um, whatever Rhapsody said before, I can't remember that name. <laughs> uh, on the latch here and on the floor. So. Yeah, thank you. Uh, on the crate too, and it's such a nice effect, even if the light is off, like when the windows don't shine. It could be seen as moonlight or something like that, so that's really immersive. I really enjoy that, and you guys know how I love immersion. 
Well, yeah, because if it's a window, the light is coming into the house, and so anything in the path of the light is going to cast shadow into the house, not outside of the house. So that spotlight is giving you that full immersive feeling of the shadows being cast into the house. So another thing which I don't see a lot of people do, uh, which I do a lot too, um, this person does it very well. Uh, if you come here, you see the, on this corner of a bed um, how they added, instead of using the full sized and visible version of the uh, alcohol battles on the, on the uh, on this corner here, they sunk it into the bed and it looks like there are only three bottles surrounding the corner. And I see that a lot of people just love to show off the entire item. But as we know, as we saw with Feng, uh, well, not using the entire item to just make it feel much better or fitting uh, into a build is something people oversee. Oh, the look a lot. Oh, it's down here actually. There's a stool beneath it, right? Yeah, I'm trying to figure yeah, out the me. optimal <laughs> way to sit. Mm. Uh, I, well, I can, I can only sit on top. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, definitely hiding the spirits collection, hiding the bottom of like this stack of books. It really gives you a whole nother feeling like there are so many more items available to you now just because you're hiding some of the rest of it. Exactly, and as I said, not many people use that a lot, and uh, this person is a prime example of how to do stuff like that. Uh, you can see how they used... Uh, I'm on G-Boss right now, but you can't see in this one corner where they used the, um... What is it called? The, um... What is the shelf called again from the Gold Saucer you get from the Fashion Report? The Mummer's wardrobe. wardrobe? Yes. The, uh, yeah, that corner with the alchemy bottles, but also they added, like, the, uh, Spirits Collection, they added the step beds, uh, like, there's a few things of the, uh, step kitchen sticking out of a wall with the herbs. Like, there's so many different combinations of item that, items that are similar to make a new thing, and I really enjoy that a lot. Yeah, adding layer, adding texture. Uh, don't be afraid, just because it's adding an item count, it still makes it look unique. Exactly. I really like the the double layered the potions rack with the mummer's wardrobe because it makes it look like a totally different shell. And right, this is so yeah. this this is this is a great another great example of uh, what I mentioned before, just using another thing. Also, it dyed the windows very well in my opinion. It fits. It adds a lot of to of color to the build. It like does, yeah. When I came Which here before, you... they weren't teal; they were just brown. So this yeah. is nice. Uh, I'm just honored that built. Ashton and me looked on, uh, looked on like how much ago, like months ago, before we even thought about doing the podcast. Features items from the podcast makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I don't know you. This uh, you feel probably the same way about it, right, Ashton? Yeah, big fan, big fan. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> I'm gonna take a few screenshots to post on our Twitter and let him know that we visited. Because this is an amazing build. Group screenshot, group screenshot. Yeah, I wish I could uh, visit the rest of their houses, but again, Shiragani, although there are a couple in lavender beds on their apartments we can look at. Okay, I'm almost done, so you guys can go sign the book. I already did. It's in the little. Oh, you already did. Okay, okay. I'll give them my though. Hurrying up. I, I, I have to zoom out all the way to, because I don't want to miss any single aspect of this build. Like, every single thing I look at is just so nice, and I don't want to miss any single thing in this. This person... Oh! Well, I guess that, that keybind gets rid of it, but there's this guy, Dizzy Machina, who signed the book. That's my SC mate. I told him to check out this house. Actually, definitely worth it. Let's see. And one last screenshot, there we go. I'm gonna post this later to our Twitter, so you guys can see if they respond too. Okay. And even in all of my shader settings, this looks nice, but in my personal Vibrant Gameplay one, it's the best. It just feels like you actually walked into a, an in-game house, which you guys know I love. <laughs> Does it yeah. have a name, actually? Hmm? Uh, I didn't look, but, well, it, I mean, I'm sure it does, it's just Japanese. Yeah, probably. Did you want to try to look at the apartments while we're here? It's in LV. 
Yeah, sure, while well, we are here anyways. But let, let me, me just figure... I just want to figure out one little thing. How did they get the lamps to float on such a height? Either they have to use another surface, right? Because it would snap to the ground, correct? It hasn't been snapping um, for me lately on tabletop. Because I recently really? floated... Yeah, I recently floated a glade lamp just a tiny bit below the surface of a glade cart in or whatever it's called, and it didn't snap. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm surprised by that. Is that maybe because it's inside the aquarium? Is that a thing? Okay, so this is a big thing for me because the uh, current build I'm working on uh, for a friend of mine for a mid-sized house, uh, I, I wanted to use the furnace again, but I just couldn't find the... It's a dark build again, so I didn't want to uh, overdo it with the light, you know? Because usually when you do the w version we did, it's really bright. <laughs> um, but this one seems very... Very dim, for some reason. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna try to find it. I think it's in Ward 3, so I'll be back. Let me just sign the book in the meantime. Because this build, I say, oh, I think this is my favorite build, f like, by far, from the places we have visited. Wow, it has a lot of plays, 1.3k. <laughs> yeah, well, they deserve it. Definitely, there's no way this person doesn't deserve all the love. I'm sorry, I had a little hiccup here. Alright, I'm hoping I'm going the right way. It says extension 3 with my translate and LB apartments. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, I, I just wrote something. Uh, did you link it? Next house. Uh, no, no. I'm gonna see, what? I'm gonna see about this, uh, apartment. No, it, it must not be this. Let me look at the subdivision. Is there a TMO uh, apartment? Like, pers uh, like that person's uh, house. Yeah, there's some in the lavender beds. All it tells me is lavender bed extension three. Extension three. Okay, if you have something, let us know. Oh, there it is. Did you find it? Oh, yeah, there's it's a sub subdivision. So subdivision three, apartment okay. two. This is their most recent one. Subdivision. I think, if I remember correctly, I'm not gonna look at the stream, but I think it's a very similar style. Because you can always tell this person's style apart from the rest. Because it's very cluttered, but also features a lot of the, uh... Oh, I think I'm wrong, actually. You have to leave that ward. Oh, I have to... Oh yeah, what word was it? Three. Oh fuck, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. You know, I really like their builds because they do something a lot, a lot of people don't do and they build up. Okay, I'm gonna look at it from a stream. Oh yeah, this is so good. I haven't seen that uh, they built up actually. I have this uh, seen these uh, this built on Twitter. Oh, this is very nice. You can, yeah, you can definitely tell the death of their window is there again. Never peak performance right there. Ah, I love it. <laughs> but instead, instead of you know, the picture they used, the um, stage panels uh, blue colored, right? But it, it all oh, just seems seamless. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very natural. Just, it, it looks kind of like a foggy day. It does. It really does. Yeah. So they used instead of a white rectangular partition because it's an apartment, they can't float it. They used the back of a hmm. wall tile. Mm -hmm. oh. So don't be discouraged, people. You have demon walls and wall tiles. But you don't always have to stick uh, to stick to those undialable versions. There's also things like uh, either wooden beams. There's simpler ways to do this, but this is another great example of it. So... I really enjoy the shelves they do. 
This is a, this is a staircase, right? Uh, yeah, that's those are the wooden steps. Um, looking directly up, though, look at the absolute beautiful placement of this entire room, centered on that ceiling. I love it. Like the whole this whole like little sitting area is centered oh. completely mm. on that ceiling fan. Very well done. Yeah, the, the ceiling fan is not used very much, but in settings like this is perfect. But perfectly I just, executed. Yeah, I just love exactly the execution, the attention to detail. There's no door out though. Ah, it's clickable. I do like those shelves. Look, look how colorful this is. It's gorgeous. Oh, look at how every single jar next to each other has a different color. <laughs> this is so cute. I really enjoy that. Yeah. So that's three different sets of glass jars, each one dyed a different color and only one jar showing from each, and that speaks to me. I should Love definitely it. Cons I should consider using that in the future too. It adds a lot of variety to this uh, to our clutter too. Div, look at this vase. Yeah, I was see, just about to since say you were that. just talking about hiding the spirit. Yeah, this is per this is another great example because it's like it perfectly shapes around it and yeah, it's just beautiful. I can't say more to that. It's it's a, of course it's gonna uh, clip if, uh, a bit because it's not perfectly shaped and supposed to be used like that. But hey, nothing's perfect. But it's great because it's you amazing, have so. glasses all the way around it, but you don't see the ones in the middle, obviously, because the vase is on top. You know, Super they even exactly. managed to make the bear rug not look awful. Oh hey, they covered up the parts that make it look like a bear. Yeah, I, love I like this. this. I feel like this. This reminds me of Aldi's style, honestly. The colors, I think. Yes, you're right. Aldi is always doing bright colors. You know, colors people don't often choose. Yeah, this is this is a very warm color, and I very much like it. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. No problem. Yeah, the the red they use, I think you guys talked about this, right? About the wall color. Yeah. It's really unique because people don't use um that shade of red much. I think, and the, <laughs> for some reason, oh, they stick to Dalmud Red, this is not Dalmud Red, like, oh, the door, there's not even a door, it's just a single close-up room. I think number yeah, seven's but another one. Oh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Yep, it's Sorry, number seven's one of their... Oh, I saw, I think I saw this on Twitter. So this Seems one like has it. a rainy sky window. <gasps> Oh, my dream! Jesus. This is what I want to do! There's a wine glass here, a book. Perfect. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Well, um, I don't think... You can, you can hear the uh, showers in the stream too, but... I, I don't, what I I recently... don't have sound on. Oh, you don't have sound on? Okay. But what I recently just discovered is that the, um... You know the Glade uh, bathtubs? They make a shit ton of sound. Yes, like, they do. <laughs> Like, they are really sounding like it's constantly raining, but they also use the music scroll here. And just look at the light. Uh, when we stand here, the light reflects on to the table and stuff like that. And it looks so nice. It actually looks like a rainy day because it's a dim light and not a white one. Man, I want to make an open window now, guys. I have been dying. I wanted to do a open rainy window for so long, and this just solidifies the fact that I need to do it. I have a perfect it's spot so beautiful. for an open window too on this build. I'm gonna do it. Yes. I Wait, really I like two how. Two sets of stairs. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's There's... a bed. Oh, that's a bed. Oh, this is this used to be. I think if I remember this correctly, this used to be like a um. Kugana Asian themed storage kind of set, uh, shop. Do you, do you recognize that shape, uh, Ashen? Did you know which one I mean? Yeah, the Nam not the Namazu one, but yeah, the Asian shop. Yeah, the Namazu one was inspired by that, actually. Look and because oh, it was my first. Look how seamless this is. They did a top oh. and a bottom window that's rainy. Ugh, oh, oh, I love it. The low window looks like it's like you just just open it. it from the bottom. Yeah. This is what it looks like, basically. I like it so much. And it's so perfectly placed because you can see the top of a tree. Hmm. I really enjoy that oh so much. Oh my god, I love it. Oh. 
There's a little pumpkin here in the corner. <laughs> oh, okay. This is from the Halloween, uh, the little tower thing, right? Yeah. You can see it down here. I don't think this was their intent for it to be here. They wanted just the one upstairs, but yeah, there's a giant pumpkin here. It's wow. Seamless. Also, also, do you guys see how the contrast between the blue lighting fr coming from outside the window, but there's this warm light next to the uh, next to the chair, and it's such an amazing feeling of having the outside light intersect with the warm interior light. I really enjoy this a lot. Yes, that's an absolutely perfect use of mixing cool and warm light. You're right. Because mm -hmm. this is the cozy sense. section, right? Yeah. This is yeah. where you sit to get warm, and over here outside, it's cold. They use a trick I really enjoy using. It's the um, using the uh, stack tomes for just having a single tome on, uh, on the uh, surface. Just as if it's just a book laying down. Like, they sit there, read. Oh no, the light is gone. Can you guys sit down? I want to take another screenshot. There's just so much chair there. Actually, Rhapsody, you can sit on. Oh, actually, or like that. That's better. Just another cool screenshot. Is there a guest book here? Because I don't, I don't think there is. Really. I didn't see one. Oh, huh? that's fine. This is beautiful, though. It makes me love it. This person does a lot of open windows. I think most of their builds have an open window, but you know, that's the style. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how you recognize her, and also she uses the back of the uh, she uses the back of the bookshelves a lot. Yeah, like you don't need to reinvent the wheel every single time. If you like something, put it in your build. And this person loves open windows. I mean, for me, I me too now. I I, <laughs> I I tend to reuse furniture and remake things to an extent. Alrighty, I've, I'm done already. It's that was very fast. <laughs> there okay, we go. Okay, I think the last one is at nine. Mm -hmm. Wait, an apartment, or you mean the uh... The apartment? Yeah. Apartment nine. Let's see. Yep, looks like theirs, right? Oh yeah, this is definitely theirs. This is the one I was talking about. <laughs> this is the one, Ashen. It looks like the same. It looked like the same layout, so I thought they just redid it. Yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh, look at the back window, the Oriental, a design yeah. right there. Oh, it's like it's like um, uh, it's round shape basically, but it also has the Oriental kind of beam yeah, to it. Yeah, I love that. And it's symmetrical too. I thought it was like really random and uh, abstract, but now that I look at it closer, it's really symmetrical too. Oh, I wish it was daytime. It probably looks so pretty, illuminated. Yeah, it's, it probably does. But it doesn't shine through a lot because it's from uh, shining towards the south side. But it would still look absolutely just. I think so this is a perfect time for me to announce my petition for Moonlight. I'll start one for signatures. Just try to figure out. They have another open window here, but they have no back. It's like all overgrown, completely overgrown, actually. Yeah. Looks more like an aquarium now. And I love it so much. There's so much clutter and detail. Like, it's not overly cluttered. There's just like little details here and there that makes it perfect. It's like a also antique shop. Yeah, this, yeah, this is what I said. The, like, the Asian antique shop. Oh, I love it so much. Books. We have a lamp here too. Sleep on. There's another powerful window here. Windows here. I love the storage. Like their storage up here is amazing. Like they use the um, uh, the Charlie and cabinets, cabinets because those are like the typical drawers you see in banks and stuff like that. But also this storage here is just amazing. The light is super nicely done with the Hingen lamps. It has a very nice Asian kind of storagey feel to it. I was hoping this ladder here would be another entrance up. Yeah. But it is not. It, it isn't, Sally. There's so much stuff here. Like, they used the new items they introduced with uh, 4.2? With scriptures? Like, if they don't use up many item slots to have a decorated uh, shelf. And a filled, filled out shelf, especially. Can I point out the fact that there is a gap between these two lofts and it does not look out of place? 
And it I love that. I saw that, yeah. Doesn't. If you are downstairs here and you look up... Oh, hello? Okay, I can't fall down, so it's not a, well, a they're, safety they're hazard. Well, they're close enough, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not a safety hazard. But don't, don't look at I my really skirt. Like... Hmm? Dibs, look at my skirt. <laughs> no, no, I'm... I'm no. <laughs> So honorable. No, 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 I wasn't. A for husbands, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I really like that. See, it doesn't always have to be like a full, you know, loft on loft. You can you can play with different things using and negative space. Them. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy this build. Awesome. But yeah, I, I this person really likes the lighting zero. Yeah, that's that's a soulmate right there. <laughs> Light level zero, lots of clutter. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. This really sells me on it being oriental in style, this window. Yeah, very pretty. I don't see people doing too many designs with those windows. Oh, but my item, my item comes. Come on. <laughs> I just want a window. Usually people would just go for the actual round, uh, Paper thingy. The full portal. Yeah, exactly. Or the this, is such a, this is so much better. Love okay, so... it. Oh wait! Oh guys, guys, come down, come, come down here. This is okay. Do you see this big ass waist? Yeah. There's a uh, brass bracket inside for the lighting, so you don't see it, but it's like it's. Actually, another light source. Yeah, ambient. Inside the thing. It's, uh, as we talked about a, lot, uh, a few weeks ago when we talked about light sources, you don't always have to see them. And Sometimes they, it's better if you don't see them. They did a spotlight too. That's something I picked up on once I started doing open windows was spotlight. Hmm. Spotlights are so much better because, first of all, they're constantly there. And um, second, they, they, they have such a better way to drop the shadows onto the floor and furniture. Okay, well... Sit, sit! Oh yeah, picture! Seat. No, next to us, Ashen. Come on. There we are. Let's take a nice screenshot. Only Rhapsody is emoting, just pointing at the camera. <laughs> hey! The light that comes through right now is just amazing. It drops such yeah, nice... Yeah, so what's great is that it actually, with that light, with the spotlight, it feels like daylight. Yeah, basically. Daylight, moonlight, back perfect. Then, back then we didn't, like, before we had the windows, we only could really fake that style with that kind of... with a spotlight, but no one did it anyways, <laughs> so... People tried to do open windows back then, but they didn't really consider the spotlights. No. Because there's such a limited thing to you can only use so many. In uh, one yeah, house. only use two. Yeah, which is bullshit. I don't get it. They lifted the limit on crafting stations. I, I wonder why it's still imposed on spotlight. Could it be because yep. it's like a texture thing? I don't understand. Um, it's an inter- you know how they had this issues of the issue with the interactable item limit and how things would like <clears throat> uh, disappear and stuff like that? Yeah. So, imagine that, but like worse because it's an interactable item which changes the entire lighting. Uh, which is in, in, their, in the game's engine is a bit annoying to handle. Yeah, but they have but the- at, they have the at this point, lamps. Yeah. At this point it's something different. They should li like just lift the uh- I can them. imagine, I don't know much about game design, but I can imagine such a heavy light beam uh, is pretty intense. Especially because it casts the shadows, like it, it, it checks what is around the area, because in the current way uh, that the light in with the uh, imitation windows work, is that if you have an item in front of that, it will not cast that shadow, right? And especially when the lights intersect with each other, and overlap, it's gonna cause a lot of, like, issues, especially back then with the PS3. Uh, it wasn't really a good thing for people I can to just handle. imagine if they lifted the limit on spotlights, people having, like, 20 of them in a single room, like, Crushing lining a... Yeah, exactly, like, lining a stage and just, you'd walk in and just die. 
Yeah, I think at this point, after we got rid of the X9, it doesn't matter really. So we'll see. That okay, should nice. we should we visit the next place? Yeah, the next builder. Leah Grassland. Leah, Laya. How do you guys say it? I say it, Leah. Is that also on this data center? No, it's on Ixion. Okay. Oh. Is Ixion on this one? I don't think so. I don't it's, know. It's on this. Let's it see. is on the data center, but not on the server. Okay, let's go see. I think I remember there. Oh, is this the one with the very nice slim aquarium? Spoilers. Uh, we're gonna be looking at two. Leah, Leah is the one who did the Alamegan gowns for the curtains. Oh, is this the same person? Oh yeah, with mm -hmm. the rainbow wallpaper, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna be looking at two of her builds. Unfortunately, it is nighttime, and her stuff is very dependent on day because she has a lot of windows. Yeah. I just checked their Twitter just to recognize them, and I know their builds very well. Kind of waiting to see them. Okay, so time to visit them. Ah, uh, central shroud, as always. Yeah, so I wanted to talk. Their about most this recent. One. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Do people, like people like BJ and Swefkana, um, they level their characters all the way up to 18 and 80 and 20. Um, is the reason for that so they can visit all of the worlds? Uh, it, well, yes. At 15, you unlock the other zones. Oh, okay. Um, because you become the emissary in the main story. Um, but I know Kana and Maple. Maple is the wife of another JP designer, the one who did that like really cool dollhouse. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you, I think his name is. Sorry, you, yeah. Yeah, and um, Kana and Maple apparently will go around and do like cute things together, and so they leveled so that they could dye their gear because they like. Th I've seen on Maple's Twitter, there's like the three Lalafell, and they each have like ones. One wears pink, and one wears green, and one yeah. wears blue, and so they go oh. as a trio, or sometimes just, you know, whoever can go. So this time, when I saw them most recently, there was just the two of them, but they leveled to 15 so they could dye their gear pink and green. Oh, okay, that makes sense then, because I saw Kana always, instead of using the base gear, like the butler outfit, which uh, BJ always had, uh, she just used all the nice gear. Instead. Yeah, she just had some like really cute vendor gear, and I think they know that the the anim mm, what is what is that the animos suspenders I think they're called. Yeah, they know that they're pretty cheap on servers. Yeah. It's yeah, it's like a hundred go. I know which ones you mean. The suspenders, yeah. Yeah, Worth and they look seven. super cute. I agree with that. She also has like a few hats and stuff. And I I really like. Kana and BJ, they're just so much fun to talk to, even though there's this language barrier between all, both, uh, all the three of us, for example, if you talk. It's just so enjoyable. They are so sweet and polite and respectful all the time. Kana's English is actually really good, though, I think. Yeah. It is, it is, yeah. This one's a medium. Go to Lavender oh. North East, sub Northwest Subdivision. Oh, I, I just clicked a random one. Oh, I was uh, trying to help you. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. Oh. oh, it was Northeast. Oh. beast. It was North East. Sorry. <laughs> I second guessed myself. It's your It's yours, Div. It's this this is the one we is go it to, the... to go to yours. Is it... Oh. That's... No, this is this is... oh, this is my wife's. It's the medium. Part. Man. It's the medium I wish across I... the street. Dude. Okay, so if the medium across from my wife's house would look like this, it's empty. <laughs> and, man, this garden, holy shit! Oh, how pretty! Oh. I, okay, I must say, I think I've never seen such a nice medium garden. Never. I, I'm... Wow. I adore when people will put lamps up in their tree houses. It yeah. looks mm -hmm. so pretty at night. And look at it, they joined them so that there's a perfect little path between the platforms. Yes. Look how cute this little hut is. I've never I, noticed what, it before. The Ixel hut? Yes! What I really enjoy about um, the lavender, uh, lavender bats is uh, when you use a lot of trees, it doesn't look out of place. 
Right. I love using foliage, but the thing is that it's very limited in this game. But they used to, they combined like shit you really won't use normally, and they made it look so good. Okay, this is this is my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot here. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> I need. I... I glitched. I can't climb up those stairs anyway. <laughs> oh. If you sit down and uh, get up again, you will uh, be free from the glitch. Oh man, I wish it would be daytime right now. This whole, like, tree platform, like, walkway above the yard is very, fantastic. Very, very Viera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Take notes, Aunt people Arnie. who want a Viera yard. <laughs> yes, come see Leah's house, Leah Grassland. This is a great Viera yard. Got my screenshots done. Shall we enter or shall we wait for- Oh, I think daytime isn't anytime soon, right? No, it's We are not even to midnight. Yeah, it's yeah. 11. Okay, oh, let's well. just- Let's just get into it. <laughs> now, her style is similar to the first house we looked at, I feel. Very modern, yeah. very clean. <laughs> These are chairs. Oh god, the music. Holy shit. If you guys can't hear it, um, it's the Final the Fantasy mushroom. 15. Oh no, is, is it a mushroom one? Is it mushroom or Final Fantasy? Because last time I came here, it was mushroom. It's a, it's a 15 one. I don't know. It's like the... Oh, can't really that one. Explain it. <laughs> the harmonica? Oh, such... Yeah, the harmonica. I love these. Look at look how pretty uh, these is... pendant lights are. I know, right? They used it with this is the uh, thing they used with the manor. Uh, they they called what did you guys call the candelabra? Yeah, exactly. It's okay. such a this is this is such a nice area. Like you look just at have this. Like, oh, look at how this is only showing the top rack of the potions rack. Mm -hmm. Love it. I love it so much. I use this in my personal even. So this is a build which uh, kind of blew our minds because we haven't seen people use the mannequins for uh, for the uh, curtains so far, and this is such a unique thing because they stand still too, unlike the NPCs. <laughs> and the corner with the books, absolutely as, amazing. As far as I'm concerned, this is pay to win furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not paying for retainers oh. for curtains, guys. Oh wait, but you just one single dress. You There's only a need... way. Yeah. Yeah, you only need one retainer. Uh, so the way you do it, you equip it onto the mannequin, and you can take. Then you access your retainer instead of a mannequin, and you can take it out. But the mannequin will still wear it, so you just give it to the next mannequin, and it yeah. will always that wear is it. That's crazy. Basically. <laughs> and and you only need the one retainer. To hold to be the retainer for all these mannequins, you Basically. don't need to have you see this six one? different retainers. Mm -hmm. this, this mannequin <gasps> down here. <laughs> oh my god, that's a slow hat! Holy shit, it's from that the Dragon Quest blue line. hat thing! Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's from the Dragon Quest line because Dragon Quest is really, really, really popular with the Japanese community. That freaking oh face! Holy cow! That's I'm gonna, funny. Oh god. I haven't seen this in uh, her screenshots. It's like a little Easter egg. Well, here's another thing you might like. Uh, her pillow that fell down right here. Have you ever noticed that? Ah! Wait, what? I actually don't know right now what this is. Is this the pillow like the- Sofa cushions. Sofa cushions? Oh, so it's just one corner showing? Oh. Yep. I'm gonna- I'm gonna inspect. That's the same one that's on my bed, Div. Really? Yeah. That um, exact I'm... same pillow. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, I, d <laughs> I thought... Okay, so what I thought you used is the, um, the futon mattress, uh, the corner of it. You know? Oh, but, but... no, it's just the, the pile of pillows, but with only one of them showing, so not the pink and the blue and all that stuff, just this one white one. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm taking notes one second. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute, though. I love it. I just like messy rooms. Yeah, same. That's what oh, makes fuck it feel I... lived in, all the pillows everywhere. Yeah, not everything has to be a showroom. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, I think this is the most popular design that uh, uses a uh, back for the, uh... Putting? What? what? 
What was it called? The pudding city. Oh, pudding city, yeah. They use the uh, leather backs for the uh, back of it. For the couch and... back, yeah. Yeah, but I also this is so nice. Point out their ceiling up here. Oh, yeah, okay, so we. Was it a bounce where we, like. Wasn't it a bounce or an FD where we talked about this? It was and we FD. just couldn't. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, I made an alt just out. to check it out. We just couldn't figure out what it was. And what was it in the end? Some kind it's of light? A, it's the Halloween. The, the Halloween. It's the Halloween spiders. Yeah, it's a or spider pennant. hanging down, yeah. Yeah. So I remember cute. now. Yeah. This gave us a head again. This, those are not lofts. Those are floated pink and sideboards all over again. Yeah. Or really yep. seeming like it. Six. Now, the thing I will say with her builds, and or maybe just the ones we've seen so far, have you noticed that they experiment a lot with bold colors? With what? With bold, like bright colors. Like the first, oh, yeah. the first house we looked at, they had an accent wall that was a deep blue. This one, a lot of browns, and obviously the rainbow. But I mean, they're not afraid to use color and oranges and the other. It, the apartment we went to was red. I mean, we literally have a rainbow in the back of all myself right now. Yeah. Just like a perfect shot. Come, guys, come down, sit down for me. I want to take a screenshot of this amazing place right now. It's so unrecognizable from the usual housing designs you go for. <laughs> This is a medium, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, sorry, I went to Tsuji Boost early. There we go. <laughs> That's so cute. I really. Just the view from uh, my perspective right now, where you see the entrance to this room, but it's not completely open. It's like half open with a little shelving and a little uh, clutter with so many different colors. I enjoy it so much. Like, even this little side end table they use, so thin, looks amazing. And they made the edge of the edge of it line up with the border on the loft. Yeah, I saw that. This is so nice. There's so much detail into a uh, put in, and thought put in uh, behind this. A lot of love, a lot of skill. Okay, but we have, I haven't seen the uh, other side of this room yet, let's see. This is like a little kitchen area too with a little- Oh yeah, I remember this one. So, this is a, um, this is the NPC Oasis shell, right? And yeah. they, they floated the, um, scripture, uh, vegetable stand. And this is so nice because you don't see the entire stand, you just see the top part of it beneath the actual shelf. And it looks like a little vegetable storage, much better than just using the, uh, usual crates, yes. in my opinion. I like it. It looks so sorted. <laughs> it looks, yeah, it looks, uh, it looks like you just reach down there and grab it, you know, because it's slanted. Mm. Very cute. It's perfect. Uh, then they use the prison pouches, which no one uses, because they have such bright colors. <laughs> I yeah. really enjoy that. No one uses them. And over here, too, they have, like, this little stool here. On top, they decorated the, uh, uh, step kitchen so well. It looks like it belongs to the actual kitchen. Yeah, they they made it overgrown, like a witch's kitchen. They did the they did those mushrooms on the other side too, beside the bed. Yeah, I saw the mushroom, yeah. So cool. And they used of course as the person before, they only used part of the spirits collection. I think I'm gonna point this out every single time I saw I see it only parts of the spirits collection because people oversee it so much. <laughs> but yeah, this is she is very good at just showing bits and pieces. Um I would say a lot of Japanese designers are really good at just showing little parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my voice just died there, but <laughs> yeah. People, people just like to use uh, full items to show off on an A. Just like with her statue and stuff like that. <laughs> and it's, it, it's interesting. Like, why? Why do we have to have such big spaces? Oh, I, I, I never, I never understood it. I think it's setting for something but you know <laughs> okay i mean let's talk about uh, like just even actual cultural differences between houses like in japan it's a very small compact country let's be real it's it's a bunch of small islands and yeah. there's, like a, there's a lot of apartment living in a big cities obviously they have country living too but we're talking about compared to 
American living specifically, where you're looking at suburbs, you're looking at McMansions, you're looking at trying to get the biggest space available so you can get as far away from your loud kids as possible. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just a cultural difference, I think. And so I I see a lot of NA people being like, well, I paid for all of this space, so I'm going to use it all. Exactly. I find myself moving away from using so much space. But at the same time, it's nice to have a path to walk through. I'm I'm kind of at Mm -hmm. war with myself. Like, I I want to obviously make it look lived in like a realistic house. Not, you know, my house, I live in a two-story townhome, but it doesn't have huge open spaces, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. I get what you mean. I have a, I have a friend who lives in New, York, uh, in New York, and you know the New York apartments, the typical ones, like the industry, very cramped, very, very small. And he absolutely loves the aesthetic of it in real life, but in Final Fantasy, he hates to have it too. So he said, yeah, okay, I, lo- I don't want small spaces like uh, the Japanese designers and you do, even though they look amazing, I just want to live a bit bigger because I, I'm already living so cramped in in real life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, makes sense. This, this is your yeah. fantasy, come live, come live your fantasy. Exactly, but the Japanese people live like that too, and they tend to build on a very, very small scale too. Uh, you know, Leah was one of the first I saw who used a carpet for a ceiling, and using the ceiling, I guess, exclusively for art. Yeah, we first talked about this, right? I think this was the reason why we got talking about the carpet uh, ceilings, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah, she focused a lot on ceilings before everyone else really did. Hmm. I like that. I really enjoy this a lot. Also, uh, I saw in, um, in, uh, what was her name? person we went to the house before, all of them love to use the, uh... The blinds. What is it? The Ooh. blinds. All of them okay. love it. Stand on that, like, uh, shelf where all the potions, like, those jars are, and then jump, like, underneath the pendant lights. Yeah, you'll get stuck. <laughs> well, I'm not stuck, I'm running around up here. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, well, this was just a trap, wasn't it? <laughs> No, I'm actually up I, here. I see that she's stuck. She's floating for me. Okay. <laughs> I can't get up. No. Oh, there you go. Fuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, is why you, this is why you travel as Lalafell. We're travel size. Uh, I really wanted to... Um, I mentioned this before. We have the uh, upcoming housing tour for BJ's houses for... Uh, by Eris in the FD Discord. Yeah, in like three hours. Just gonna. Yeah, and I initially wanted to try and move a Lalafell. This, this, this would be first time going as Lalafell. I, I just don't know. I just want to see everything from above instead of from the bottom. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so you are gonna make it? Because before you said it was like really late. Oh no, I can't make it. I oh, wish okay, I could. Okay. I wish I could. So you guys, if you have time after the stream and you live in a time zone where it's not 3 a.m. when they start, yeah, <laughs> uh, go ahead and join them. It's gonna be a great time for you, I guess. Yeah, uh, I, I want to try. Promise. I've never been in a tour with people. I usually kind of just go with myself or with friends. It's not gonna be the oh. first time the oh, NA invades Japan. Did you notice these pictures with the potions? Are they supposed to be like? Oh my color god! Coordinate? Who are they? The blue blue painting with a uh, red painting with a red uh, flasket, the green painting with a green flasket, and the dark blue one with a dark blue flasket. So cute. <laughs> That's I such just, a nice idea. Like I was looking at it like as we were looking through the house, and I'm like, that looks nice. Those work together. And now I look at it again, I'm like, there's a reason they work together. It's planned. Man, this entire like, house um, is just so skilled. <laughs> There's so much thought. I this. love I can't, it. Can't believe it. Like, look, okay, so they used the fucking Mughal shelf, like the little Mughal shelf here, just for this single wooden corner here. There's nothing else. Just this little part sticking out. Yeah, I love that. You know, it, and they probably figured that out just by experimenting. Probably, And just, and just yeah. meshing things together. So don't be afraid. That is amazing immersion right there. That little piece of trim, that yes. tiny little triangle trim. I love uh, it. In, I want to zoom in. Hey, Ash, uh, Ash and Rhapsody. I can't see yeah. it. And Rhapsody is latest built, the one with the uh, nice walls and stuff like that. I'm making a uh, fireplace out of uh, the Mughal shelves right now, and it looks so, so good. It fits Aww. super well into the beam. 
I can't wait I to show it to you see. guys. Oh no, you can't see before. I mean, you will. You will have to supply you, you me. You can't see. <laughs> no, you will have to supply me. So you have no option. You have no option but to see it. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> Money bags over here. Basically. Oh, here's the message book. Okay. Whoa, those windows are. They're pretty, but dang. Glad she'll Oh, yeah. wow, yeah, you're right. No, I wasted all of my hearts already. I can't give more. Oh, shit. Time to make a new character. <laughs> yeah, but basically just to feed them. Okay, you guys comment on that. I, I already posted for in our name for in the past, too. <laughs> Specifically for H, uh, HG XIV. I signed a while ago. I might still be here. And the windows really chill out. But it is a nice trim, like the trim for it is really nice. Oh, light lamp stuck it is the key too. I really enjoy the uh, design of having pillows on top of crates, to be honest. I should do, I should do this more often myself. Actually. Oh, there's a key. But yeah, I know what. Oh. Uh, uh, regarding what Misha said, I know it might be a bit back, but she said I hate when people are stubborn to use all the space. Especially when you are working on a commission, it can be very frustrating. Oh, sorry, what did they say? Uh, that they hate that people are too stubborn, so that they're using, they want to use all the space even though it's totally unnecessary. Yeah, you know, lately I've really turned away from commissions because it's just... Even when people say, oh, you can just do whatever you want, for the most part, it, it's not that way. Um, yeah, well, they will complain. Yeah, they'll, <laughs> they'll, like, they'll be like, oh, can you change the color scheme? Can you do this? Oh, I really want this kind of room inside. And But again, at the, at the same time, when you, especially when I take stuff, I shouldn't expect to just make what I want, but it's the only, it's the only things I've done lately, is if people will legitimately let me just build. <laughs> hey, Ash and Bright, can you design a house for me? You can do whatever you want, but I want a Japanese tea room. Yeah, like... <laughs> this, yeah, it, that's basically... I want a pink Japanese tea room and it has to be Moogle-themed, please. Exactly! And that's whatever what, you want. That's what people tell me. They're like, you can do whatever you want. Oh, but I want this to be just like your FC. Like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but I, I, I heard a few things like that. So, we have one more house, right? Yeah, in Goblet, and it should be time. So, let me get that address. Hold on. It, it oh, should the be Goblet. Oh, shit. I need to make a character, I think, for Goblet. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna watch the stream. You guys have uh, your head most likely, right? Where is this one? Goblet? The same server? Ward, yeah, same server, Ward 13. Plot four. Oh wait, wait, wait! I have I have my BG character here, so I can, uh, he has access to the goblet. My BG character, you know. <laughs> B, B BJ. Oh okay. <laughs> Always say BG. Or do I actually? No, that's oh no, that was on Gaia. That's Dorandalos on Gaia. Fuck me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run. So yeah, this, this house used to be the one with the piano art, but she tore it down. Oh. Oh, that was Leah's originally? Yeah, because I had this all oh. parked out here, and yeah, I just realized just now. Okay, I'm gonna watch from the stream because I'm un I'm an unprepared piece of shit who didn't create a character in uh, Oda before. Well, Level. we have a little bit of time before daylight oh like you know two minutes yeah so it's... take some time wait it's a guitarist music hall what's a music hall uh it says that but it doesn't look very musical uh, i think because last time it was <laughs> it had the piano and the... oh you think oh they haven't changed the name yet yeah yeah, Misha, uh, Misha mentioned that she uh, recently had someone who changed a lot of details in the house she made for them. And uh, that reminds me of the, uh, what was it, your Dashen, where you were like, Probably. you designed a house and they, they re-dyed every single thing and it looked shit. Yes, 
yeah, that was two of my houses. And yeah, they, they uh, two even. Yeah, the first one, I had it all neutral, very pretty, and they dyed it like black with purple and yellow, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> It's an oh interesting color combination, but I don't think that will work out with your designs. No, especially not the way I did it. And, but it, it uh, the upstairs was dyed like that, but he wanted the entire house like that, so he did. He did, and it didn't work. Ooh. But um, the, the, sec <laughs> the second one was a house I did like right off C, and I very specifically chose those colors. And at the end of it, he's like, "Oh, can you just change it?" And I did. But it, it it didn't work with what I was intending. It's a shame, really. I mean, it's well, you're doing a commission for someone, and they want a yeah. place. But, oh yeah, uh, definitely. D dye it however you want, but I learned after that to always take pictures of how I want it. Take so, pictures before things change. Am I right? Yeah. But here's the thing: when you're hiring a designer, if there is something specific that you have in mind tell them up front if there's certain colors that you want tell them because like like ashen said she had it set with these colors that she picked you design around that like if you're using light colors on a certain wall and then you know you have the window shining on a darker part but then they change the dyes on you like you don't really have time at that point to change the entire design and fix where the window is at that you know what i mean like it that's something that can be accommodated for if there are certain colors that you want in a build you know tell your designer that but like yeah and uh, the thing is i always ask them what colors do you want and i and i do that but yeah what you said is true and also sometimes oh, I, i'll dye something and i'll color it and i won't put a light there to accommodate for it but then they'll dye it like a darker color and suddenly the room is just so dark right because there are colors, there are dyes, you know, that hues, I guess I should say, that eat up light. Yes. Like, they, they mm. are just black holes for light. Yeah, that doesn't work out properly, but most people don't know that. Especially if most of the times when people hire a designer, they are most likely not a designer themselves. Like, I haven't, I can't even think of one example where that would happen, right? So they won't properly understand how things work together. Exactly. Sadly. Yeah, and uh, sometimes what happens with me is they'll change the floor out, and the floor is very uh. intricate, and especially with the way light bounces, and, you know, going from a light-colored floor to something dark, it just completely changes everything. <laughs> yeah, or like imagine having like a certain aspect reflecting on the floor with a darker floor. I yep. imagine fucking change it to the white uh, unfinished one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or from, I love or from... the white unfinished floor because it's not reflective wood but like if you're if you're designing around either having it or not having it switching it to something you know completely opposite is totally gonna mess with the design yeah. i had someone who wanted to do a uh, like dark mansion kind of gothic feeling and uh so i naturally use like stuff like the uh the mar black marble floor, but then I changed it to the dark uh, wood from the glade floor. And then they, when I came back, like a few days after, they changed. They changed so many details around. They fucked up a single window, so they wanted me to fix it. So I came back, and they had like the white unfinished floor, and it made oh. me so angry. Oh no! In a gothic house? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I, I directly asked them why, and they said I liked it. <laughs> So I, I just, okay. I, I just, just like monk her ass. Okay, not gonna talk to her about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I had that happen with the teal carpet because the teal carpet came out, and of course it's very pretty. But when someone changed it over, they didn't ask me to like kind of update. So the kitchen had carpeting, the bathroom had carpeting. It just looked awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh, no. Carpet in the kitchen. Yeah, like they should have asked me to come in and put tile down or some, or you know, or, or a loft just for a wooden area <laughs> oh boy shame. okay it's daytime now shall we enter yeah i was gonna wait on rhapsody uh, i oh, am she's... in eastern thanalan okay i'm coming as fast go. as my little logs will go but you oh, can start without me on stream all right a nice and easy walkway here this that reminds me of your hibachi place Ooh, i like the color of the stone that is a great perfect 
color for Ulda. Oh my good. Yep. Is it just a basic? A basic no, color, like that's like a beige. Yeah, this is a neutral. Oh. Yeah, th I think the natural one is gray. It's like a yeah, it's sure white. It? Like it, I think the when it's undyed, it's actually snow white. Oh, is it? Okay. So, so this sworn. house is very bright, by the way. Oh <gasps> yes. Oh, by ice. Yes. I oh. love this one. I've seen this so much on Twitter. Wow, I yeah, I, I wanted to come in. Leveled pillars. Holy shit! The leveled pillars and the little entry with the uh, okay. Oh, this is... look at this entryway. Entryway is so nice. Oh, oh, oh they've look got what they use. Pendant lights. Stained glass. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Framing out the stained glass like that. I love that's this. Another, that's another way to frame it very nicely. The clip with a uh, manor bookshelf. So what I like, you know. How, uh, the well, well, no, the planter positions, I think, was it? Are fucking shit. So, uh, but this person, <laughs> but this person, like, surrounded it with the. Are they? Oh, no, those are just wall planters, right? No, those are, those are the planter partitions because they're, like, rounded at the top, you see? But they oh. trimmed it out with the white rectangular partitions and, yeah, and then they covered the small it. imitation window. Yeah, they capped ah, it. Because I see, oh, yeah, yeah, I see now. They have a. There. And they have like little flowers in between, so it looks much better. Oh, but what oh my I goodness. really sorry, a what? frog attacked me. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Are you gonna make it <laughs> okay. alive? I, I'm good. I'm sprinting. I'm going. I'm going. I, I love, really look like at, look, at, look at this water feature. It's so pretty. People uh, struggle a lot with that because the fountain is so like it snaps at stupid heights with the floor. I tried to float it from the bottom in other builds, and it's stupid. But well, this guy hit, yeah. hit it all very well. It becomes a thing where, how much of the fountain should I show? I want to show running water, but, you know, how do I get rid the of tail. everything? I think... Get oh. rid of the tail. Did he, did he hide the tail within this uh, flower kind of bed? Uh, uh, no, no, it's just underneath it. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's just, it's in the, it's under the floor. Yeah, I, okay. I know, I know exactly how tall that freaking fountain <laughs> can go. <laughs> yeah, I like that it's not like... The level of the pillars is not the same, it's just like a, a bit different. And it's makes so it makes it look so much better in my opinion. The asymmetry. Absolutely. The asymmetry. A oh plus. I like this green. What is that? Silk green? I think yeah. Or meadow. Ah, oh, it's a little lighter than meadow. Yeah, green is slept on. I really like that. They did the uh the little wooden part with the beams too. So nice. You know, <gasps> open window. You know what's interesting? Yo. I, I wanted to point out, Div, is uh, all of these builds has had a mounted bookshelf, and that's normally something you hate. <laughs> like the bags. Um, at this point, I've seen it so many times that I don't even question it anymore. Okay. Okay, but that particular mounted bookshelf with only showing two rows, mm -hmm. and then the backs around it, that's beautiful. That's cute. I just, I think, I think the reason why I personally don't like the back of bookshelf is the texture. Because it's very low res. Uh, I just don't. I just... <gasps> oh, this is that one! Yes, there's Ulta! It's the Ulta Skyline one. So I love oh. this. How did they do this? That's an hmm. Oasis bath. What, what's, what's the unrest? What's the what? What's is the rest? It, is it part of the giant cactus? I think it's either that or. There's a bed. That's a bed post, I think. Oh yeah, that's a bad post. Oh yeah, that's most likely either the flame or the. And they have storm. a some kind of rocky thing. Is this another fountain? Yeah, that's definitely the cactus thing because you can see that it's definitely a tower, that like a legit tower. <laughs> that's supposed Time to, to run be like. Behind. Is it? Is it actually like supposed to be like a cloud? Like those are supposed to be clouds, and it's actually like towers that are so high up. It definitely looks like ah, it. Ah, okay. All right. I'm, uh, so, I'm yeah. sorry, stream. It's it's the gold saucer cactus. Yeah, I saw the cactus. Let's see. I'm trying to get underneath. <laughs> so it is a cactus. Multiple. This place is so scary and solid. All right, here we go. Yeah. I see. So what's that cloudy? What's 
that yeah, I'm, stuff I'm not then? sure. I'm not sure. It's either the yeah, the Oasis bathtub is definitely part of it. Um, the cactus from also puddle rock. Now I don't think it's a puddle rock. Are they or a pudding? It could be a pudding. Oh yeah. So pudding. So what did I say? Or is it laundry baskets? I think it's laundry baskets. Oh, you're right. Oh, it's yeah. laundry baskets. Right. It's laundry baskets. Yeah. I think they're supposed to be rocks. I have no clue what it's supposed to be, but no matter what they are, it's amazing. Ashen rocks. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah. The tops of the laundry basket. Now I now 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 I have many ideas. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just my brain had a moment. Well, uh, Sh <laughs> Shano Fahrenheit. I don't know how to. I, it's probably not correct. Sh but Shano did a beautiful like Japanese garden using these. The rocks, yeah. Yeah, using them as rocks. And also as snow tops, too. I'll have to link that. I've seen the snow top. Was it the wooden cabin? With yeah. With the like, little snow patches on the... On, on the ground, oh, yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't on the ground, it was like, on the, on the window, um... Sills? Sills, yes. <laughs> you were so close. <laughs> I was so oh. close. My goodness. I wanted I wanted to point this out. I think if you turn around towards the table, Ashen, um, I don't remember what I wanted to say, but uh, if you show me, I don't know. Oh yeah, so I use the um, manor uh, stuff again. This is something we talked about in what was her name? Uh, Addy? Yeah, Aldi. Yeah, exactly. And they used they hid the um, because it's not a real surface. Uh, they could easily hide the blue part of the Garlean uh, walker there. Oh yeah, because it won't snap up onto a table mm -hmm. surface. Exactly. Now, look at this clock. They used an aquarium and a clock. Love it. This I saw that mm -hmm. on freaking Twitter, and I was like, that is amazing. Because, like, people love to do the the great to picture frame with mm -hmm. the clock, right? Like, that's yeah. very popular. But throwing the aquarium into the mix? Oh my yeah. goodness. Rhapsody, I think... you're gonna like the clock I just made. I must Ooh. admit, I think this is the I think this is the best clock design I've seen so far. To be honest, it looks it looks like a legit clock because usually you have this modern kind of thing where you only see you only see the actual pointers, but you don't see the outside frame of it anymore because they hide it and there's nothing else. But now it looks like an actual item. Yeah. Such a nice combination. Oh my goodness! Like. Oh, actually, no, there are a little more. There's more dots. I thought it was, like, perfectly lined up so that you would have the 12. <laughs> oh, that would be great. There's that Moogle shelf again. She really likes that. Mm -hmm. Super cute. It's just a Such little a nice side detail. table. You can see how you can make a fireplace out of that, right? <laughs> it's definitely possible. They okay. use, the, they use so fake stained glass. Also, before we go into the big thing here. <laughs> <laughs> before we talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's it really, really cute. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that a lot. Especially okay, so let's... with the choice of the color of fish. Nope, well, we're still on that. <laughs> because there's the blue from the stained glass, right? But there's also yellow in that wallpaper, and they only used yellow coral fish. At first I thought that's supposed to be a winner, but then I saw the fish. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, so now the big part. Big attraction. This couch! Oh my goodness! Yes, it's I love it. It's a galaxy brain. Ah, I'm stuck. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Streamer, streamer please. Streamer. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. Jumping around in people's houses. I have to go back to the entrance, I guess. But yeah, this is, uh, you could use the uh, leather bags if it's on a ground level. So it's gonna be a bit easier on you because this is possible on an elevated floor. Because else, the, uh, two thing, the two putting couches they use for the back would snap back to yeah. the floor, so, sadly. Uh, yeah, it has a very steep height requirement. Mm -hmm. Which that is, but it's very modern. It's so it's so clean, it's so nice. Yeah. And I really like I really like the frame. I think how did they do the frame? Is it just the Eurasian maps or is it uh rectangular walls? Looks like a, it picture. looks like a map or a Eurasian map. Hmm. So much simpler. But wouldn't it hmm, it would snap to the Actually, okay. you know, it might just be it's just they made it really thin. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's rectangular partitions. I see a little tiny line. True. Also, it would snap to the ones in the front, if that would be the case. But the texture of the wall... What? Oh, it's, it's a the stage the panel. Same... It's a stage panel. This... Sorry. Is it the same green as the floor there with the uh, little office? Yeah! Right? That's so that nice. silk green again. Very pretty, tying that in. And did you notice how she did her window? She didn't do the full big window, very long. She just mm. used, like, a... Uh... No part of it, the, the, yeah. the um, top one. Top part. Yeah, because you can see the bottom here that she mm. ignored. I like it's that. Man, Square Enix, fix your fucking light boxes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's my bane. Oh man, speaking of that, but... look at the light coming in through the windows, the crystal windows. Oh, wait. Oh, the stained glass, yeah. This is so nice. That's Which I... Gorgeous. I think, I think if they would do uh, the thing we talked about with the uh, casting the shadows, like the, uh, uh, the stage light does, I think that with a house with a shit ton of windows, I think that would influence the frame so much. I think that would actually cause a lot of issues, that's why they won't ever fix it. I think we need to talk about how rich she is, because look how many of these wool rugs there are. <laughs> I mean... True. <clears throat> Do you really want to talk about that, Ashen, Miss uh, Jute Bear? Let's let's not talk about that. Never mind. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Also, um, I know because these particular rugs do not offer camera collision, you can easily angle your camera up and see the lights that she's hidden in the ceiling to help create ambient light, mm -hmm. especially right above this couch. Yeah, there are nice. lanterns. I'm all about that. Very, very nice. This one is actually centered above these picture frames so that it gives a, a very natural, like almost like a spotlight over the picture frames, but without being so glaring. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about these carpets is if you see jump, just like I did before, you're going to get caught, but a wooden loft is going to stop you. Yeah, right. basically. Wooden loft or troop stage, both will. Yeah. Which is I must but admit, it looks very nice. I must admit that um, this little part with the uh, little columns there, with the white ones, like, you guys know how I want to do the Charlie and build so badly, but I can't do the walls. It really reminds me of this really really uh, abandoned kind of style you have in the Dravanian Hinterlands. And I, just looking at this, I'm getting inspired to do something completely different. Well, and I really, I really enjoy that. Like, having something, something modern inspire me for something more lore-focused is such a nice thing to to be honest okay i have to point out the asymmetry in this particular water feature because i adore it so obviously the pillars are at different heights right but there is a whole lot of asymmetry going on here because you have the trailing ivy tendrils on either side that are not symmetrical you've got you know longer one over here shorter one over here you've got flowers so this is from the Glade bathtub, these purple flowers, they're shorter. And over here, she's added Lily of the Valley at a higher height than, you know, what they are over here. So there's just, this whole thing has so much symmetry, asymmetry, excuse me, that it balances out to looking absolutely gorgeous. Perfectly balanced, just like it should be. Oh my god! <laughs> Good lord, the meme look over here. Imagine, imagine having like, uh, you see how it goes up towards the couch? Imagine like switching it around, like uh, mirroring it. It would like lead up to the couch. Like it would have a nice slope to it. If you would mirror it, uh, of course. I think that that would look very that nice would for sure. Actually, it would. But I, I see what like you mean. Part. But it's also, you know, it's still Be gorgeous. <laughs> As you said, the asymmetry is actually much better like that, I must admit. That's so much more. I think if you were to do what you said and slope it upwards towards the higher level, it would make it more of a... Too structured, a, yeah. It would lead you towards the couch, like lead your eye that way, rather than mm. making this a focal point. This is also something important for clutter. Just don't don't lead like a heap up towards the corner for a, like, like a lot of detail into clutter. Uh, try to spread it out more like in this case for example like have a bump there 
imagine a heartbeat monitor or something <laughs> where it just goes up and down all the time and it's not really, really just a slope. Yeah, I like that a lot. Frankly, I just want to talk about this lady's patience in growing all of these white daisies. Or maybe she just bought them since she's, apparently she's money bags. Uh, I, you, you could be right, but I'm inclined to believe that if she's growing this much jute, she's also growing white flowers. I, I was about to say, I'm kind of doing it the same right now with the build, because it's taking me so long, and I, I have a day <laughs> to wait on white flowers. Right. <laughs> Gosh, this build is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, this desk. I like the hanger here for their for the purse, the bags. We've got coral and pink. Don't I forget love... to take a few screenshots, guys, because this is so amazing. Ooh, I'll let Rhapsody where? handle that. Where, sh where should we take them? Hmm. Over on the sofa. Okay. You convinced me. Oh, no. Uh, one moment. Please hold. <laughs> Technical Let me appear at the front door. Now, would you say that there's a difference um, between Japanese and NA builds? At least what we've seen so far. <laughs> I mean, uh, from what we've seen, it's hard to say because I must admit that the um, Japanese designers Gosh darn it. It's 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 hard to say without like sounding rude towards the entire NA popula oh god. <laughs> NA population. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you yeah. stole him. Let, let, so it's not let, alienated let anybody. Me, let me jump in here, Div. Mm, you do that. There is a good uh Oh my goodness, why can I not see you, it? You're struggling. <laughs> I am you're struggling. You're like a toddler. So, I, I am seriously struggling with sitting here. So um we are looking at people who have posted on Twitter. Like, these ones that we are showcasing are the Ashen Brides and the Dividuses of, you know, JP. Like, it's not very fair to compare all of NA housing to just these few that we're looking at, I guess well, is what I'm saying. I'm going to go next door and we're going to look at a Japanese house. And if it's, it's a amazing. random one. I did that before I, while visiting Nora. I went like a couple houses down. And it was just a beautiful house. I was like, what the hell? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, that might that might put the kaposh on my theory. But even so, I, there's definitely a difference, I would say. Um, but I think that NA is finding its own feet. I think with that's fair to I say. I think with the the advent of the float anything, I've seen just huge strides in creativity. Yes, and and I credit not only Ashen, um, Shay, Eris, like even you know us obviously with the HGXIV, like we are sharing this information a lot more readily now, hmm. and so people have better access to understanding how to make these pretty things. I think that's actually worth noting. Like that think... cultural difference of sharing versus hoarding secrets. That's true, but I would also say the Japanese people have a huge lead in housing because housing yes, isn't the Alice. It, it it really wasn't popular in NA for a long, long time. Like way after Stormblood's release, it was still like a small, small thing because people just weren't interested in it. While on Japan, we had all the Noras, all the Soryu's building amazing shit and it kind of, the yeah, NA community kind of saw it, but they didn't bother doing anything about it because uh, we, they didn't have any information on how to load things. We, did, they, we really didn't have any guides, so if you didn't, if you weren't into the, that community and into that niche, community called housing, you weren't really able to partake in it, if that makes any sense, but it's so hard to explain. They have like a lead of a year or two, because I think what currently is the Japanese st standard is gonna be the NA standards in the, in the future, 
it is it hasn't reached really that much of dedication creativity and especially the new structures they, the japanese people do is something completely different from what na people do they mainly use huge areas they use the space they are given but they are not really doing anything custom this is something that i would say is a huge but, part of difference let, but let's they're getting there about, let's let's expand on that though because like fang i mean we've talked about fang we had fang on the on the podcast fang came out of nowhere to us he was a brand new designer and his first yeah. house that he ever designed he followed you know guides that alice ashen you know even we did and um you know was looking at this amount of shared information and looking at jp designers like bj and as a new designer fang came onto the scene and even blew the minds of jp designers mm -hmm. so I, I you were saying you know like it feels like na is at a point where we're like one to two years behind jp designers but i think with all of this information it's not like there's a lack of creativity in western culture like clearly mm -hmm. there's tons of, of creative minds and creative talent um they just need to realize that this is an outlet for it if they're playing this game and you know because obviously there's tons of artists who yeah. play final fantasy 14 you see them all over twitter and tumblr like drawing and 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 creating things like and so if they see housing as an outlet for creativity they'll flock to it i gotta agree i must i gotta rephrase that with um an a being a year or two behind i think that's more like the maybe two months or three months ago because since then we had a massive influx of information not only from japanese uh, from the japanese community but from ourselves too right yeah. um mm -hmm. so instead of being behind all the time we are closing that gap we are definitely closing it but yes that's a good way to put it that's yeah. a good way to say it yeah we I, definitely I, closing the gap between the japanese and na designers but that I, gap has to evolve I, I, a bit more like i think you what's something you said earlier um made the most sense and it's that there's not uh there's transparency now about mm. how to how to make things how to share things how to learn i can say yep. probably two years ago whenever i first started there was nothing there's no guy exactly exactly there was maybe there was housing snap and tumblr there's nothing else housing wise maybe your facebook groups but that only started out like like not that that long ago right yeah and i think that a japanese side they had been working together they had twitter they had been collabing they've been visiting long before i think na started catching up mm -hmm. before they even realized that housing was more than just a little silly thing to place a few things down and call it done yeah, and I think, uh, again, like you said, transparency and closing the gap, I think we're probably going to be reaching that soon. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, this is a good way to put it. Like, closing the gap slowly, but we are trying to close it as much as we can. And with H I uh, HGXIV, we did this a lot. Like, there are so many guides, especially from Shay. Like, I think Shay and Mercy, both of them, like they pro they provided so much information to NA that without them we would still be very far behind J uh, JP. So I gotta give a lot of credit to them. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I really like how everyone just put uh, you know everything together, working together and like making the spreadsheet, all those videos, and also um, the. What we're doing too with like break it down and stuff like that that's something i've always wanted was just to figure out how to, how do they make this so i don't have to go visit and look and post on reddit how was this made <laughs> you know right and i, 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 I see so many um not so many so oh god how do i say this i see fewer of those posts lately asking how was this made what what items are these yeah, i see a mm -hmm. lot why can't i qualify this there are fewer of those posts now because of HGXIV. And honestly, I see people making their break breakdowns not necessarily within our circle of like FD, but I've seen others on Twitter yeah. posting their own breakdowns, not not associated to us or FD or anything. Uh, and that, and even, I love that. Yeah, very helpful. And even before we started uh, doing the entire podcast thing and the breakdown series, uh, Miyuki pointed out that 
uh, it really started out on an A with Alice. And we had Alice here and we talked about it a lot and she did this breakdown of her kitchen. And people, instead of just asking if I was like, we had so many questions in, in the balance and in the FD Discord, how did she do this? And she just released a break it down, a small one, a very, very simple one too, just the names and the uh, little paint thing pointing towards it, right? And um, it was such a huge inspiration and people stopped asking. And Alice really influenced the NA community a lot. That's true. Absolutely. By the way, I did not notice this until just now. Sit fair. <laughs> Leah is a person after my own heart with high hidden seating. Love hidden mm. seating. Yeah, I visited a house on Fanfree and they challenged me to find seven hidden spots. <laughs> oh, I love it. It was really fun. I, I missed, I got all of them except for one. One of them was really difficult and I was just amazed. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like stuff like stuff. that. Okay, where's the mess? Oh, up here. Okay, so I think this piece has been all the houses, right? We are done. Yeah, that was all we the housing. Uh, oh boy. We're gonna go look at one random one, though. We're gonna go next door. Uh, you oh know, god. Uh, I said that, but honestly, I have no time. I was supposed to be somewhere. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I was supposed to be somewhere 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. It's okay. <laughs> that's, that's how time just flies when you talk about something you enjoy. Yeah, I mean, at first I was like, no problem, it'll be okay. And now, it, <laughs> and now it's been like almost two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. All right, well, I'm going to leave a message from HGXIV, and we will see y'all next week then. It was really fun going through all these houses and checking them out, but... Don't forget that Eris is hosting a tour of BJ Steel, Big John Steel. He's the one who does all those like crazy modern, like he has really revolutionized like with the windows and stuff. Big John Steel's tour tonight. Um, on Durandal, it's on the yeah. Gaia data center. It's gonna be in around uh, two and a half hours, I think. Yeah, that was what nine. Yeah, nine o'clock. So two hours. P. I don't know, just just yeah. to end a bit hours from now on. <laughs> yeah, so definitely good. go check that out. I think BJ and Kana are in on that, so they're going to be helping move people around to go see all of BJ's houses. That is such a cool event. Definitely, definitely go to that. Oh, and Panda, you just make an alt on that data center. Yeah, Panda, you can make a level one alt and you can get to their houses. Uh, honestly, because they're involved, it'll be that much easier because you can just teleport straight to them. Mm -hmm. If you have any, I, I doubt that you have no etherite tickets in your uh, in your uh, house, so you will have the ability to just teleport to them. They're really nice. You just ask them nicely, and they welcome you, and they are super nice. They try their hardest. Yeah. They tried their hardest to speak English. So if they take a bit to reply, just just don't be don't be too harsh on them. They're Japanese, it's really hard for them. Is there a... I think there's a Discord or like a hashtag for um, NA people who can also help you. If you, if you, are, if you don't want to try to talk to someone Japanese side. Because I think yeah. I saw a Twitter tag. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely get involved in that. Just go to Durandal, that's on Gaia's data center, and make a level one in, uh, start either as an archer, or a white mage, or a lancer. Yeah, I advise, and... I advise to start somewhere in Ulda, because most of his builds are in a single wall. Well, well like four of the them. tour is planned to start in Gridania. Oh, yeah, yeah. right, sorry about that. It's, uh, it's no, you're fine. To start. Yeah, so Eric start as a, as a conjurer, or an archer, or a lancer. Alright, y'all, so definitely go to that. We've got to wrap this up, but we will uh, see you next week. Yep, have fun. Have, have a rema nice remaining weekend, guys. See ya!